Number 74, Integrated Concepts. If you wish to take a picture of a bullet traveling at 500 meters per second, then a very brief flash of light produced by an RC discharge through a flash tube can limit blurring. Great. Assuming one millimeter of motion during one RC time constant is acceptable, and given that the flash is driven by a 600 microfarad capacitor, what is the resistance of the flash tube? So basically, uh, what we need to do is, uh, in order to find the resistance, we're going to have to find the time constant. And the reason why is this, because the time constant of this thing is going to be equal to the resistance multiplied by the capacitance. To find the resistance, we would simply divide out the capacitance from both sides, and we realize that the resistance is now basically a function of the time constant divided by then the capacitance. Now they told us the capacitance. They said it's 600 microfarads, but you know we need that in farads, so therefore just do the conversion 600 times then 10 to the minus sixth. Now my attention totally turns. Instead of thinking about how do I calculate resistance, I now think about how do I calculate time constant? Or what is the time constant in here? Or how can I do it? What are they talking about? Well here, they said that you're only allowed one millimeter of motion, right? So pretend that your motion, that your snap of the picture, is this, one millimeter. You got this thing, right, this bullet, whoop, that is traveling now at 500 meters per second. So f every single second it's covering 500 meters. But you're only allowed to capture it during a motion period of one millimeter. So my question is, how long do you have here to capture it? How can you figure that out? Well, that's a simple distance calculation, right? Or velocity calculation, I should say. Right, velocity is equal to the distance, or displacement technically, ooh, 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 ooh. Right, whoop, got to be careful, but in this problem it really doesn't matter. Right, divided them by the time. So what I need to do is just simply cross multiply this, not bring part of that equal sign. And I realize that the elapsed time here that I have is going to be equal to the distance that it's traveling here is only one millimeter. Careful, we need that in meters to make sure we're consistent to the minus three. Divided them by the velocity of 500 meters per second, that's in the fine right units. So 1 times 10 to the minus 3 divided by then 500. And realize that the elapsed time here that, we're, that we have to discharge, essentially, this, this, this light, is going to be 2 times 10 to the minus 6 seconds. Now this is, the, this is the time constant. Not only is it the time that the, you know, in this window, but that is the time constant. It's the same thing. That's the time uh, of which we have to emit this flash, right? So that's... 2 times 10 now to the minus 6, all divided by 600 times 10 to the minus 6. Those minus 6 will basically cancel. And you can basically just take 2 divided by 600. And this works out to be now 3.33 times 10 to the minus 3 ohms. All right? Or about 3.33 milliohms. And that's it. That's the resistance. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Hopefully that helped. If it did, help us out. Give us a hand, hit the subscribe button, like button. You know, you know what to do. All right, thanks a lot. Take care.